Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today I have the Perfect Palette Tag Part 2. Oh my goodness, I remember when I first started my YouTube channel, I actually did part one of this video like years and years and years ago. And then I recently saw part two come up in like my subscription feed. So I was like, oh my God, I have to do that. I don't know who created this tag. So if I can find who did, I'll put it in the description down below. But good on them. Like I would have not thought of these questions. So yeah, we're just going to roll with it. Um, and yeah, let's just see how we go, hey? Just as a quick little like side note as well, like I'm not a massive palette person. Like, don't get me wrong, I love eyeshadow palettes, but I feel like I'm more of a single eyeshadow girl for the most part. Because I really like, as I've gotten older, I've realized I only reach for like, the same like three or four shades. So I just kind of go with that. But I tried to answer these questions as truthfully as I could. And I guess I'll explain my answers as we go. So there are 11 questions. The first one is the all-time favorite. So I just kind of thought of what palette do I love the most? Like what one do I always pack when we go away? Which one do I always seem to reach for? It may not be every day, but it seems to be like one that I always reach for and it can never go wrong in my eyes. And honestly, that's the Tarte In Bloom palette. Like mine is beat up. And I haven't hit pan on anything, but if you can see it, honestly, like everything has a dint in it. Like I'm not even joking. And I love taking this palette with me because honestly I can get a dramatic look. I can get a like natural look. I can do warm. I can do dark. Like honestly, I feel like most of my bases are covered and I love the packaging as well. Um, honestly, I feel like this palette had its moment like years and years ago, like what, like 2016, 2015, like years ago. And I feel like not as many people talk about it now, but honestly, I love this palette. I think it's still one of the ones that I reach for very, very often. It's one that I definitely take with me when I travel, when I go anywhere, because yeah, it's just like a perfect all-rounder palette. It does pretty much only have like your neutrals and like your warmer tones. But honestly, like for me, I'm not a big warm tone girl. And if I can love this palette, I feel like anyone can. I feel like my most reach for shades are honestly these two here. Um, but yeah, love it. It's got a good mixture of matte and shimmer, which is exactly what I look for in a palette. So yeah, absolutely love this. This is honestly like one of my all-time favorites, right or die. It's been one of my favorites for absolute years now. So number two is the new favorite, and it has to be the Charlotte Tilbury Super Nudes easy eye palette. I've included this in quite a few of my last videos. Um, I do have a few of the shades on my eyes today and honestly this is beautiful. Um, it is a little bit different to the um, Tarte, in Tarte in Bloom palette or whatever I just said um, where none of these are technically matte but none of them are shimmer either. They've just got a beautiful like sheen to them and when these are applied to the eye they actually look so ridiculously natural. Like I don't know how, but they just look stunning and they've just got a beautiful, beautiful sheen to them. You've got three warm tones, which weirdly enough, I'm not a warm tone girl again, but I always seem to reach for these ones. And then they've also got beautiful cool tones as well. And yeah, honestly, if you want to see this palette in action, then I'll try and find a few of the videos on my channel where I've used it and I'll link them down below. Number three is keep for the memories. Now, oh my goodness. I'm going to say it's all three of like the original naked palettes. Like I know that there's been other ones since like the smoky, the heat, um, a few other ones and like the remade naked palette. But honestly, like the naked palette, like the original one, this literally just brings back so many memories for anyone who doesn't know about this palette. Oh my goodness. This literally took the beauty world by storm. Like check out those colors. Mine looks hardly used, but honestly, I used this to death. This is the Naked 2 palette. Oh my goodness. Like literally just looking at these makes me feel like I'm back in like 2013. Like that's that one. I loved this one the most because obviously it was cool tones. I was obsessed with this color here. Like it was literally like the bee's knees. I was obsessed. And then the Naked 3 palette, this color, like this color scape or like color story or whatever people call it these days honestly so stunning and for me back in the day like if a palette didn't fold over like this i did not want it <laughs> like i don't know if anyone was the same but like people would literally like bend this back 
so it would literally like flip over. I know that I'm not the only one because my friends did it too, but yeah, honestly, like these three palettes, like whenever like me and my friends would get ready to like go clubbing or anything like that, which honestly those years are like long gone for me. But like when we used to, like honestly, that just like it just reminds me because like we would always like go over like someone's house to get ready to go out. And honestly, I just remember I would always pack those three and between those three, we would all like go to town. <laughs> quite literally but also using the palettes as well so yeah honestly like they hold such a dear place in my heart and honestly like to this day like one of my favorite things to do is get ready either by myself or with my girlfriends um like doing like my makeup and stuff because yeah I don't know I just love it so number four is underrated and honestly I don't hear anyone talking about this I don't hear anyone talking about this brand in general um I recently did a review on the foundations, but if you want to see like a review of these, then let me know. But these are the Makeup Atelier like eyeshadow palettes. They come in like a five pan, which is what I like. I don't, for the most part, I don't love palettes, like at least now, I don't love palettes that have like a million colors in them. Like it's just too much. Like just get like a few that are like the good shades that you reach for and like that's it, you know what I mean? But these ones are the Makeup Atelier palettes. Um, this one here is in the shade Honey Brown. I was trying to stack them to be like creative, but I just don't want to drop them. This one's the natural brown one. This one I feel like I do use the most. And then I also have Smoky Brown, which to be honest, this is probably my least favorite just because every color besides the color on the end have like glitter in them. But I don't know. It's nice though. Like it's nice for a night out, but this is the one that I definitely reach for the most. But yeah, like these ones are absolutely stunning. I might actually swatch some of these for you. Like this one is the Honey Brown palette. Like that's that beautiful copper shade. Like can we just even, like this is the red color. I am trying to get like more into swatches. Honestly, I feel like eyeshadow swatches are like they don't really mean much because something can look great like like something can look great on video, but honestly, like once it translates to the eye, it may not be as good. You know what I mean? And like, for example, like this color here, it's swatching terribly, but I love how it applies to the eye. So I don't know. I really like it. I think that this is a very like underhyped product. I actually thought this brand is underhyped in general. Their foundation is stunning. Their eyeshadows are beautiful. To be honest, that's all I've really tried from the brand. Actually, I lie. I've used their liquid lipsticks, which weren't the greatest, and I've used their correctors and concealers as well which were gorgeous I loved those I don't have any more though do I but anyway yeah honestly like these palettes are just absolutely stunning I think that the quality is exceptional um I did recently look like before I filmed this video I looked online to see like how much they're going for in Australia they are really quite expensive like I think it's like $75 for like a pan of five which don't get me wrong like you are getting like a decent amount of product you're getting 12 and a half grams in five pans so you're getting the like a quantity but I feel like it is quite expensive to be completely honest with you sorry I'm reading the questions off my phone but number five is not a favorite but can't get rid of and it's got to be now I love Tarte eyeshadows right like my all-time favorite is a Tarte palette but this Tarte palette I don't even know if they still make it but th this is the Tarteiste Pro like eyeshadow palette this I think I've literally used like four times I'm not even joking like there's colors in this palette that I have never used like literally I think over half of this palette I've never used this is the palette here sorry that you can't really see it all the greatest because my like ring light and stuff but honestly I just can't like I don't have the heart to throw this palette away um but I never reach for it like it's definitely nowhere near my favorite and I think it's because of this blue color here because I've never used it and I've always wanted to honestly I kind of want to just use it and get it over and done with and out of my collection but because like it's just taking up unneeded space you know what I mean and I feel like it's quite old as well so I don't really sorry my camera cut out but yeah the palette I feel like itself is quite old like I've had it for a while so I don't really want to give it to anyone and like make anyone like sick or anything like that um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I just, I never reach for it. Yeah. So many of these, like, it just does not make sense to me. Like it just does not make sense. There's like one or two colors in here that I reach for quite like at least more than the others, like often compared to the others. Cause honestly, some of them are not even touched, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how much longer this is going to stick around for. Who knows? Maybe it will end up being like my newest favorite. I don't know. I doubt it though. I literally don't even know what to say about it because it just stresses me out just looking at the palette. <laughs> 
anyway. Okay, number six is favorite collab. So I do want to just quickly say I don't really buy many collab like products in general, like not because like I don't want to support them or anything like that, but because I don't really like products that like get discontinued quite quickly. Like I'm all for supporting like brands of like people that come out with like their own brands and that type of thing. But just for me, like palette collabs, like I feel like they only really stay on the shelf for like six months to a year at max and then they're no longer relevant. So I don't really buy many of them. I think I've got like a Gwen Stefani one, which I actually really, really love as well. Um, but when I buy collaboration palettes, I feel like I really do think them through. Will I get the use out of them? Like, do I already have something like that in my collection? That type of thing. Um, but I was actually looking through my collection and I was like, oh my God, how did I almost forget about this? And this is literally perfect. I don't know if anyone remembers. I don't even know if this brand is still around, but Violet Voss. And I don't even know who Laura Lee is, okay? I think I've watched, like, made, I think I've watched a video of hers. Like, the name sounds familiar, but I don't know if it's familiar just because of this palette. So I don't know who she is or anything like that. I don't know if it's just me. Like, I don't know. Um, but this palette here is honestly my favorite collab. I don't know who this person is, like I said. Like, I definitely don't watch them regularly. Um, but this is the palette inside. Now, this is not a typical palette for me, but honestly, I love Violet Voss, and I feel like any palette that they used to come out with back in the day, when it used to be like this thinner packaging, was the bomb. Like, it actually was the bomb. I actually have another one to talk about as my next answer. Um, like, the colorway is a little bit odd, like I will say, but I used to use this so much when I was like, not to sound up myself, okay, but like, do you ever look back on your old pictures? From when you were like say i don't know like five years younger because like i'm in like my mid to late 20s now um and i look at like pictures from like, my early 20s like that type of thing and i'm like oh my god i used to look so much better than i do now like <laughs> like you know what i mean like i know that other people feel like this because i've talked to my friends about it so i know that i'm not just the only one but anyway i used to use this palette when i was like in my peak like my peak nice lookingness and honestly like I loved how this palette looked on my eyes. I haven't used it in years. I don't even know if it's safe to use, but I was obsessed with this palette. Like, honestly, like this shade in the middle, oh my gosh. I still got the swatches from that other palette, but like, oh my God, look at that. I kind of want to just use it. I think the only shade that I didn't like was this Yoshi shade. That wasn't the greatest, but like even like their mattes, that's probably not the best color to swatch because it's going to be similar to my skin tone. Yeah, that's similar to my skin tone. I can see it in my mirror, but I'm sure that you guys can barely see that. But yeah, like, honestly, I'm not going to swatch anymore because, like, my fingers have, like, the residue all over them. But yeah, this palette is honestly the best collaboration. I love this palette so much. It's great. The next question is a 2021 favorite. Now, this palette's already been mentioned once in this video, but it's got to be the Charlotte Tilbury super nudes easy eye palette you think for the amount of times that i've actually said the name of this palette i'd remember what it's called but honestly this was probably my favorite palette of 2021 um it was a later favorite like i think i probably only started using it in like what feels like maybe october nah i think we'll, we're still in lockdown i think but like i don't know we're still in lockdown so it must have been like i don't know august or something so it was quite like late in the year but honestly this was the best palette like i love it so much i reach for it all the time the formula is great i'm actually surprised that it doesn't look more used than what it does um but honestly i love this palette so much actually it probably doesn't look that used because i don't wear makeup that much because i work from home but honestly every time but yeah honestly every time i wear makeup i seem to always gravitate towards this palette at least for the majority of it besides when i'm filming like youtube videos and stuff but oh my god I love this stuff. This is so good. So number eight is a palette that I didn't expect to love. Now, this is another older palette. Um, and honestly, the reason why I picked this one is because it was probably in the phase where I was buying eyeshadow palettes based on hype, not based on what I like out of a palette, if you know what I mean. Like now I'm very, like, very strict on the palettes that I buy. Like the colorways have to be like exactly on point. Like they can't be too large. Like 
I'm more picky now. While when I was younger, I really loved palettes, but at the moment, I'm just not in a palette thing. At the moment, I'm loving foundations, bronzers, and blush, but eyeshadows, they're a bit meh to me at the moment. So I feel like I haven't really been buying a whole bunch, and when I do, they're very, very thought out. So this is an older palette. It's by Violet Boss. If anyone remembers this palette, oh my goodness, like this was a time. Like this was the same time as the Laura Lee palette. Um, this is the Holy Grail palette by Violet Boss. And honestly, this one I wasn't expecting to love um, simply because of the colorway. I really didn't think that I would like these pinker, more warm tones. But honestly, this palette really took me by surprise. This was a palette that I actually reached for quite a lot. Um, specifically, some of the shades that I would always reach for were Transition, um, Are You Kitten Me, and also Brownie Points. Like, I feel like those were, like, the types of shades that I really got a lot of use out of. And then, of course, I loved, like, a, quite a few of the shimmers in this palette. And, yeah, overall, I was thinking, why did I buy that? Like, I'm such an idiot. Like, I'll hate it. And then when I actually started using it, it was supreme don't get me wrong i didn't do like any crazy like adventurous looks and like bomb looks like some people did but it surprised me that i could make looks that i really really enjoyed out of it and i know that a few times i even did like a pinker like look as well but yeah overall this one really really caught me by surprise back in the day and i feel like i haven't seen violet voss in quite a while but honestly since they changed away from these thin palettes they just have not been the same i think i own one in like the thicker style and i was like nah like they've changed no more but yeah this one honestly like it took me by surprise so number nine is a palette that sparks joy it's got to be the natasha denona camel palette now this palette i used Coincidentally, I used it when my now husband proposed to me. So the day that he proposed, I remember distinctively using this eyeshadow palette. So it has really, really beautiful memories. But then also like for my wedding, I did my own makeup and then I did do my bridal party's makeup. Some of them did like most of it. And then I just kind of like helped them touch up type of thing. Um, but I did do all of their eye makeup and I used the Natasha Denona Camel Palette. And there's... Like, it just holds a very, very dear place in my heart. Um, it, like, this palette really does bring back some really, really beautiful memories of, A, me getting, like, getting ready before, like, I got proposed to. Um, I didn't know that I was getting proposed to, but you know what I mean? Like, just that type of stuff, like, sticks to me. Um, like, for example, I still remember the first, like, the lipstick shade that I wore on, like, my first date with my now husband. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just sentimental when it comes to makeup in that way. Um... But yeah, so I wore it the morning that I got engaged, so it brings me back to, like, those memories. But then also, it just brings me back to, like, doing my makeup on my wedding day, doing my bridesmaid's makeup on my wedding day. And, yeah, it just, like, even just looking at it, like, it just makes me just want to smile from ear to ear. Number 10 is the newest palette in your collection. So it is got to be the Charlotte Tilbury Easy Eye Palette for the Charlotte Darling Look. So it's another one of their mini eye palettes and it's just got six colors the same as the super nudes one i can open it and this is what the inside looks like literally this is so new that i have not even used it yet so i can't comment on it or anything like that but i am super 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 excited for this palette too and i would be lying if i didn't say it was my huda beauty nudes in the shade medium honestly some days i just reach for this palette if i just want to use like some matte browns like honestly like that's what i really use this for and then sometimes i use it for like this shimmer up here this palette i would say is neither here nor there like it's not one that i'm obsessed with but i don't hate it either it's just one that i seem to reach for and i distinctively remember getting ready on new year's day and using this palette so yeah that's that's that Okay, guys, well, that is the end of the Perfect Palette Tag Part 2. I hope you guys enjoyed Sorry, my camera cut out. It is not my friend. Um, but yeah, so sorry if some of these palettes were a little bit like old or irrelevant, but I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I honestly have not been buying many palettes like recently at all. And when I do, they're really, really thought out and justified. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. It would literally mean the world to me. The world. Um... And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.